Building a profitable sales funnel is not all about luck. It's not about just spinning the wheel and hoping for the best. There's key strategies you can use to build a profitable funnel, and we're gonna show you how you use Facebook ads today to build a profitable funnel using a brand new audience. Hey everyone, my name is Ian Cleary from Razor Social, and we bridge the gap between marketing and technology. I'd just like to thank GetResponse for having me on this channel, and we have some great, exciting information to share with you today. A sales funnel is where you send people to a series of one or more pages and hopefully generate a sale at the end of it. Now you can use Facebook ads to drive people into a sales funnel, maybe to an existing audience, but what we're talking about is driving a new audience using Facebook ads into your sales funnel. You can set up these ads using the Facebook ad functionality in, uh, in GetResponse, and then you can build a funnel using auto funnel. A cold audience is when you're targeting an audience that doesn't know you, may not know your products or services or you, your company. So when you're targeting a cold audience, you wanna make sure you don't get a cold response. So in this video today, we're gonna to show you the solution to this problem, how you target a cold audience and get really good responses for targeting that audience. But well, before we jump into this, I want to show you the Facebook ad functionality that's available in GetResponse. It's great that it's available directly in the product, so let's take a quick look now. I'm in the Facebook ad section of GetResponse here, and I select the option to create an ad. First thing I need to do is, is look at the ad placement. Where do I want to place this ad? So I'm going to select my Facebook page here and Instagram account. So I can say I want to display this ad in the newsfeed on Razor Social Facebook page and or put it into the uh, ad on the audience network. I can also say I want the ad on the Instagram feed or Instagram stories. So at the moment, I'm just going to say I want it on the newsfeed. I select save there. The next then I want to specify the audience. There's a few different options here. I love this option of being able to target my existing email contacts. Because this is integrated with GetResponse, I can pick off any selection of my existing contacts, and that is based on a list. For example, I may have a list of webinar attendees, and I wanna target those specific people. Now you need at least 100 people in the list to do this targeting. The second option is a lookalike audience, and this is where you're identifying a list you have, say for example, of people that bought your products or services, and you tell GetResponse to find an audience on Facebook that is a very similar audience. So that'd be a great way of targeting a new audience that's similar to the audience that has proven to like your products and services and buy them. A custom audience is where you're specifying you want to target somebody in specific locations, specific gender, ages, specific interests. And finally, then you can target people that like your page. So for example, I can say include existing page likes in the audience and or I can find a new audience who's similar to page likes. So this is like a lookalike audience of people that are similar to the people that are fans of your page. So at the moment, I'm just gonna select existing likes. I'm gonna save that. The next you'll wanna set your budget, say how much you wanna spend and what's the total budget and what's the runtime, how long do you want to run that for? So then the budget is spread out over that specific time. And then finally, then you add your content and in your content, you put your message at the top, you put in your images. If you wanna run a carousel ad, then you're gonna add additional images for that carousel ad. You'll put in the link of where you wanna send it to, you put in the headline, uh, the button type that you want to display. So there's a selection of different buttons you can use there and a description, which is optional. So you can see it's very, very easy to set up an ad. And what's great about it is the integration with GetResponse. So for example, you can start targeting your email subscribers, segments of your email subscribers, lookalike audience. It's really exciting to have this functionality available to you. So I want to cover four specific tactics for helping you working with a cold audience to build a profitable sales funnel. So number one, sending people to a good opt-in. So instead of sending people to a sales page directly, if you're targeting a cold audience, like a brand new audience, you may want to send it to an opt-in page first. That opt-in page could be, for example, download a guide or maybe a free consultation. You wanna build a good targeted list of email subscribers. And remember, it's not all about producing a 50 page guide, produce something of value. Maybe it's a checklist, something of value that's really useful to your target audience. 
So send them to a good opt-in first. Number two, make a low cost offer. So this is another good tactic for a new audience. So if you have a product that's $100, maybe you send them to a page that has an offer for a product for $9. Something that's low in cost, offers some value, but maybe it's just a piece of your product. And that can be a great way of building subscribers. Now, if you do this really well, what happens is you are paying for ads, you're driving people to a page, they're buying a product, and you end up building email subscribers for free. So this is a great way of building email subscribers for free. So this offer is often called a tripwire offer. So it's a low cost offer, they're now a customer, and now you can send it to a sales page and try to upsell them to the next offer. So definitely worth considering a tripwire offer also. Number three, build great email sequences. So we talked about earlier about using a Facebook ad to drive people to an opt-in and then building email subscribers. You really need to think about the email sequences after that. What series of emails you're gonna send people that will hopefully end up in them buying. So it's not a case of just sending one email and making an offer. You could be sending multiple emails, providing something of value, of interest. Let's take a look at what type of emails. Here's an example of an email a sequence. So email number one, here's your guide. By the way, if you want to go to the next level, here's the offer. So you do give them an opportunity for the offer, but your focus is providing that opt-in. Email number two, here's something else I think might be valuable, so that might be another blog post that you, you send them or some other useful guide. So again, you're providing value. Email three, hey, we're running a webinar. A webinar can be a great way of generating sales. Email number four, another valuable blog post. And email number five, here's a special offer. So that's an email sequence we could use to actually generate more sales once people sign up. Number four, targeting a lookalike audience. So imagine uh, within GetResponse, you build a lot of email subscribers and some of those email subscribers bought your products and services. So what you can do within GetResponse, within the Facebook ad is say, give me a lookalike audience that I can target. So a lookalike audience is an audience that has very similar characteristics to the audience you want. So these are the customers. So you get um, a similar audience that has similar characteristics and then you're targeting these people on Facebook ads. And this can be a great way of building a new audience to target. So as you can see, you can target a cold, cold audience, but you need to use specific tactics to make sure you turn that cold audience into a warm audience and ultimately then into customers. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that video. Now you can see how useful GetResponse, in particular the ad functionality, can be great for generating some more sales. So I think you should sign up for GetResponse as soon as possible. If you're not a customer, if you are a customer, we'll then start using this new functionality. Now also, we'd love to get some likes and some comments below, so we love getting feedback. So thank you very much.